Kelly, we've uh, we've rented an RV from where did we rent this from? Yeah, so there's a website online that's called RVShare.com. Not sponsored. It's mm. purely just a review of us using the service and getting a, a quick rental. Right, and the older we get, the less we want to ground tent. Yes. We don't want to. We don't want to be on the ground. I would do it. It's not like I wouldn't do it. But we're traveling to I don't Indiana. Want to by any means. <laughs> Weather's going to be. It's going to be a little chilly or a little bit damp. So yeah. we figured this might be the best option for us. And mm -hmm. I've been interested in getting Kelly into a smaller trailer to see if if she would like it at all. Because my ideal trailer is something small that we can we can just hook up if we want to go to the local lakes or if we want to go across country that we can literally hook up. We've got all of our pots, pans, whatever we would need. There is a, a, you can cook out of these. Yes. And and that's just the basics and go from there. And I think this is, it's got a nice little refrigerator and we'll do a walk through-ish, walk in, I don't know what we call this. A scan. Um, yeah, we'll do a, a, a pan through. But where, what is your, what is your hesitation for this size trailer? So my hesitation is when I'm out camping, the last thing I really want to do is walk all the way to the to the bathroom right. to utilize the restroom. So I would like to have a restroom in the, the trailer. And then the other thing is changing. I really would rather just have somewhere that I can stand up to change instead of feeling like I have to crunch down. So that's kind of my hesitation with it and the comfort. Yeah. You know, my, my hesitation has always been the you know, having the foam mattress in yeah. there even still, but this one seems to have a decent mattress. And if we were to get one, I'm, I'm going to break it to you right now. We will get a real mattress for <laughs> the camper. So this, I mean, this, this does have a nice little mattress and I think price point of these, this, this particular model, and I'll, I'll put a link down here to these, but they're nine to $12,000 for this model here. Is it a true adventure camper? No. I mean, no. if you were, I, and I have zero interest in going overlanding you know, we live in the East Coast, so the idea of overlanding for us would be to drive there. We'd have to drive like eight hours yeah. to get somewhere to overland. Yeah, so we're local campgrounds and stuff. And I can see this at our local campgrounds working perfect. You just back it in. The only hesitation I would have is somebody stealing it. So you'd yeah. have to chain it down somehow. Yeah. Other than that, I, I think it's perfect. Well, so you have your hotel on wheels waiting in, in, yes. you know, for you to take it on that adventure. Yes, but this particular model is not the exact one I would buy. There's the one that I would buy that has a little bit more storage. It does have a, ca a galley kitchen in the back of it that raises up. Yeah. Um, and then you could put a canopy and stuff. I think we would uh, do great. Now, towing on this thing. We picked this thing up. The gentleman was super nice from this mm -hmm. place. Uh, very helpful. He sent you a nice PDF of, uh, yes. in case he wasn't there, how to uh, hook it up to the uh, the trailer and everything. Of course, I've towed many things. Yeah. It wasn't new to me, but it was nice to have the owner to be there and uh, walk us through everything. Yeah, absolutely. He was super communicative leading up to everything going, hey, you know what? I'll be there, but yeah. I, I'm going to send you this booklet just in case and showed us all the ins and outs of it very quickly, gave us a, a quick spin turnaround of it. And so now let's get right to the, uh, the step in as it were. And, uh, I'll let you guys, you guys leave us a comment. Let us know what you think of this kind of trailer. Now we know our friend nurse AJ is not going to like this one, no. <laughs> but it's not bougie enough for her, but that's okay. Not everybody needs the, the five seasons or whatever it is. So day uh, in life would be a four seasons yes, pulled behind myself. Right. So I'm with you in there, St. Jane. So let's get to this right now. Well, this is what it's like in the, uh, yeah, this is our, our sleeping arrangements and, uh, not too bad. A little loud at the campground though. So, uh, let me switch the camera around though and I will let Kelly, uh, offer the other view. <laughs> well, there's my toesies. And there's Kelly. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> Hi. Um, so yeah, where are we at with this thing? What's going on? What, how do we get it set up here? Yeah, so don't, for one, don't judge the best. We're still figuring it out. Right. <laughs> but um, secondly, it's great for a short couple days and overnight. People. And people. <laughs> and people. There's lots of people. And you do hear everything. Now, again, this is the tent sided, so that's a little different. So it's going to be a little more quiet or right. a little more loud. But yeah, so if you can get past like all the outdoor noises, then yeah. Ignore it. We opened our suitcase up yep. there, but you do have, you've got a little heater there. You've got a refrigerator down there. you got an AC down there and a built-in radio, which is kind of cool. Yeah. 
Um, but let's turn this around. This is the uh, the bed. Once again, it's messy because we just literally woke up. But you got storage everywhere. So yeah. I think for a weekend, this is just two people. This would definitely be all right. Well, and I think if this was your um, own camper, then you would find all the nooks and crannies to put everything in. And it would be a little less chaotic, too. So, And we wouldn't be bringing our big old suitcases. So. Yes. <laughs> Well, part of the complications was adding a third member to the uh, to the off road crew this weekend, so she gets to sleep in the Bronco. But she's got plenty of uh, plenty of covers and, and uh, hot hands and everything else she might want. Got my iPad over here. You good? All all your technology, you're good. Yeah. yeah. Right. iPad, phone, charger, all that yeah, fun just stuff. Yeah, just pull storage there. So as we end this video, overall, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I thought it was uh, pretty interesting. I like being able to rent one before we buy it. 100%. I think that was a big plus because I would have probably blindly went in and bought one just like that. And well, it probably, that wouldn't worked out for us in the <laughs> no. end, only because you saw a little one needed to be with us. She ended up sleeping in the Bronco. Yeah. But overall, the experience was great. Top to bottom, the, the share service that we used was great. The person we actually used from was really great. Mm -hmm. And overall, Kelly, would you uh, rent from this place again? Yeah, I would absolutely rent from RV Share again, for Good. sure. And next time, I think we get just a little bit bigger one. This is the size you wanted, so yes. Well, we got it. How do you learn <laughs> if you don't make mistakes, it's right? true, true. But highly recommend renting before you buy mm -hmm. so that you can figure out what works for you and your family and what you can comfortably pull, what you can comfortably sleep in, what you can make it all work for you. So yes. don't buy before you try. That's right, that's right. So overall, I'm gonna give the experience one through 10. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half, even though uh, we needed just a hair more space. So in the comments below, let us know what you think about this. And uh, clearly she needs the bathroom and all the all the luxuries that a guy, I guess, maybe doesn't need. So whether we two wheel drive. Four wheel drive. Or these campers, we can't drive. Or we pull, pull with, with our, our drive. drive. <laughs> this has been your All Terrain Nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. And I'm Kelly Boyd. And we are out. Peace, everybody. Yeah. So, ultimately, yes, this thing is uh, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Rental was 65 bucks a night, which is uh, yeah. being on the ground for sure. 100%. 100%. And uh, so, uh, let's walk around the outside.